the LG V20 user here and today I'm in the video about the LG V20 so I'm on front of the comment here and it says that LG V20 expected to receive an 8.0 oil in North America in August so this is good news for those of you who own the V20 and then um, and that still have the phone in 2018 uh, so I'm excited about Oreo. I can't wait to get it on my friend. I'm so excited about it. We now finally have a timetable when we can get Oreo on the V20. So yeah. So last, we check this out. So it says that LG announced back in April that it had kicked off the rollout for Android 8.0 Oreo for the G6, and then that. The G5 and V20 will follow soon. Well, it looks like soon won't be as soon as LG V20 owners would want to since the update won't arrive until August. So, yeah, um, so as you guys know, LG back in April rolled out the um audio updated for the LG G6. I mean, and it said that the G5 and V20 will get it soon after. Well, it's two months later. It's June 30th, tomorrow, July 1st. So, been two months later, and this is the first time that we've heard any new information about the V20 and audio. This is the first time we've heard anything about it in two months. Unfortunately, the information hasn't been confirmed by LG, but at least one Canadian carrier claims an 8.0 Oreo for the V20 is expected to arrive in August. Fido is one of North American's carriers that will offer the major annual update to the V20 owners in about two months from now. Um, one Canadian carrier claims that, that the V20 will get Oreo in August. Um, so, this is interesting. We, we could get Oreo in August. We could. We could get it next month. We could get it in September. We could get it after. Who knows? Who knows when we're going to get Oreo in the V20? Um, the wait is almost over. I think we'll get the I think we'll get Oreo soon. This article uh, says August. Yeah, it says since the V20 was launched back in 2016, it's likely that Oreo will be the last important Android OS update for the flagship we'll receive. But it should be, but it should continue to receive security updates for one more year or so. I I don't like that I don't I don't like that statement man because as you guys know the V20 was the first round to come with Android Nougat 7.0 the V20 launched with Nougat but how the hell is the Oreo the last major update for the V20 that makes no fucking sense to me man this makes no fucking sense it says it's likely that Oreo it's the last major OS update that the flagship received. I don't believe it. I think that there's a small chance that the V20 could get Android P. It's a small chance. Don't say it's not going to happen. Because it might happen that V20 could get Android P. Because usually flagship phones are supposed to get like two major OS updates. It's supposed to get two. It's supposed to get two major OS updates. This might only get one, maybe. It might get two. But I don't know why LG waited almost two years to update the V20 to Oreo. And like I said, the um, V20 launch with, um, was launched with the Nougat 7.0 when it was launched back in September 2016. You know, we've been getting security updates ever since. We've. That's all we've gotten on the V20 is security updates, which security updates are good and, and all. But we want Oreo, man. We want Oreo and we want it now. Um, 
you guys see a little chart right here um, I don't know where that's coming from. It's probably coming from the Canadian carrier. Probably from probably coming from the Canadian carrier. Probably. Um, so this chart is very interesting. It says August. So we'll have to wait and see. This is nationally FIDO. Just FIDO or whatever. Want be the only North American carrier to update the V20 in the coming weeks. It's just the first time we've heard about every man should be seeing when the V20 and the 8.0 oil update will be in the United States and what carriers will be first. Um, I think Verizon will be getting it first. To be honest with you guys, I think Verizon will be the first U.S. carrier to roll out Android oil to the V20 because that was the first U.S. carrier to roll out oil to the V6. The Galaxy 7 and the LG 30 so I don't see that being any difference this time around. The V20 is a great phone. I still have I've had I've had mine since November 2016. Um, um, it's a great phone, nice looking phone, sexy ass phone. Um, and it has great features on it. And I hope uh, oh yeah, will make the phone better. Um, I don't think that we'll get any updates to the second screen. I, I highly doubt that we get any updates to the second screen. I doubt it. Um, but I, th I hope that Oreo will make this phone a lot better than what it is. The Oreo has, a great, has great features. Picture in picture. Order to fill your passwords. Those are, those are my two favorite, two, two favorite features of an Oreo. And yet other uh, oriented features as well. Main ones is picture and picture and artifact for your password and stuff like that. So that's a win. Um I can't wait to get oil on V20, I can't wait. Um at least now we have kinda of have like a timetable when we get oil. This says North America, but the international versions of the V20 can get OYO in July. We don't know. Nothing has been confirmed by LG about the V20 update to OYO. Nothing has been confirmed about timeline or nothing like that. So, this might be our first glimpse at a timeline for OYO for the V20. And I hope that we get it soon. I hope that the OYO makes the phone better than what it is. I can't wait to try Oreo. I can't wait to try it because I like the pictures of Oreo. I like the picture picture and the artificial passwords. Those are my favorite features of Android Oreo so far that I know. Um, so yeah, but the thing I don't agree with is that it said that the Oreo will be the last major OS update for the V20. I I don't believe that. That's bullshit. That's completely fucking bullshit. I don't know where they're getting that bullshit from. I, I know LG, LG hasn't LG hasn't confirmed nothing. How's L, how's Oreo the last OS on the front of the V20? It came with Nougat 7.0. The V20 is the V20 came with 7.0. It's gonna get 8.0. It might get 9.0. I think it is gonna get 9.0, which is yeah. I think the V20 has a small chance of getting an Android P. A small chance. I'm going end with P, so that's it. Uh, I'm not a fan of end with P. I hate end with P. It looks like iOS to me. It, it look, it, it fucking looks. It, I'm not a fan of end with P, but I would not mind using it on my V20 if it, it, it if it does come to the V20. If it does, it don't say it's not going to come because there's a chance that it will. But I don't know why LG waited this long to update the V20 to Oreo. Yeah, I get the, the, you know, the V30 and the G6. I get that. Dude. I mean, it's two years since this phone got released, and now we're starting to see signs of Oreo on the V20 coming. coming. To almost two years. Like, that's ridiculous. I mean, he waits two years to update a flagship to the next OS. Apparently, LG does. And dude, I feel bad for I feel bad for the G5 owners, man. Cause the G5 last update is Oreo. The V20 
is getting Oreo, as we know. I could get Android P. I said that. I do think that it has a small chance of being Android P to be 20 dust. The LG G5, on the other hand, the last, the, its last update is Oreo. The G5 is not, it's not getting Android P. It's not getting it. So, and it's not getting P. It's not getting fucking P. The V20 has a better chance of getting P than the fucking G5 does. So, I don't know who the fuck said that the that Oreo is the last OS update for the V20. I don't know who said that. I don't know if the person who wrote the article said it or where they get that information from. But I I I, I don't believe that fucking shit. I believe. There's a small chance that the V20 gets Android P in 2019. I, I don't see why not. Because usually flagship phones, they usually get two major OS updates. Usually flagships do. Because the because like, like, let's say an example. The Galaxy S7 came in from Marshmallow. It got Nougat last year. It got Oreo recently. It's two OS updates for the S7. The S7 won't, won't get P. It will not get P. I tell you that, guys, that now. Uh, it won't get P. The S7 will not get P. The B20, I think, has a small chance of getting it. But I'm not, I'm not saying that, that it's 100% confirmed that the B20 will get P. But I didn't think, think, think that there is a small chance of it getting Android P in 2019. Cause I hope that if we do get P on the B20, I hope we don't wait till 2020 and get it. If we get it in 2019, but that's the thing I don't like about this: that LG almost went two years to update the B20 to order. It was two years, and their so-called a bed center, then the speed up and with updates is crap. Yeah, I get that LG wants to take the time, and and I respect that LG wants to take the time of of, of updating their phones. And I respect that, you know what I'm saying? Take your time of updating the phone. Don't rush the update because you don't want to have bugs. You know, uh, take your time updating the phone to, be, to, to, be, to the uh, you know, Test it out, and if there's any bugs, fix it. Because I hope when the V20 gets Oreo, I hope that there's no delays. I hope there's no setbacks. Nothing. I hope that the rollout for Oreo for the V20 is smooth as butter. I hope there's no uh, delays, no setbacks. Cause uh, the B30 on T-Mobile, the update for Oreo got pulled a, a few times. They got pulled on T-Mobile. Got the update the, got pulled a few times for the B30 for Oreo for T-Mobile. And the update got pulled a few times. And I think that the uh, Oreo update for the B, the Oreo update for the B30 is finished now. I think it's finished now, but. I hope that the update for the V20 is smooth as butter. I hope there's no setbacks, no delays, none of that. I hope, it, I hope we all get Oreo. And I hope that we're happy with Oreo. I hope that Oreo makes this one better than what it is. But I don't like the fact that LG waited almost two years to update the V20 to Oreo. Almost two years. I don't like that. This is a, this is the longest that I have ever that I ever had to wait for a software update on my Android phone. It was two years because I got this phone in November 2016. I was glad I got this phone, and I still am. I got I'm still am glad I got this phone. You know what I'm saying? That's a great phone, minus the boot looping issue. But other than that, it's a great phone minus like um. But um, you know this this is the longest that I ever had to wait for a software for a major software update on my phone. When I had the um the LG D style on Boost, um when I got the phone in July of 2015, the style, um I activated the phone. It um it it had a software update. It had 5.1, and I got Marshmallow in January of 2016. I didn't. I only had to wait a few months. Like what? Six months to get um, marshmallow. My stylo. That's not bad. Uh, and then I had the reverb and Red Mobile, the Samsung Galaxy Reverb. If you guys remember that phone, that phone came with uh, ice cream sandwich. I got that phone in March of 2013. I got Jelly Bean two months. I got Jelly Bean two months later after I bought the phone. 
and uh, got the job in update in uh, May of 2013 on the Samsung Galaxy Reverb. And the Reverb got released in 2012 and got all uh, Jelly Bean the, the, the following year, which isn't too bad, you know. But this is a flagship, man. This is a 2016 flagship. This is a flagship fan. It's not, it's not, it's still kind of a, still considered flagship now. But you, you can get this one for like, what, $250, $200 now? If you're looking around good enough, you can get this one for 200 bucks. It's a great pickup for 200 bucks. Great pickup. That's not a bad phone. Um, but having to wait almost two years for a major OS update is ridiculous. From going to some point on April, almost two years has been on some point for almost two years. That's ridiculous. And their so-called update centers to speed up Android updates is 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 bullcrap. Yeah, so yeah, I know that this is probably long as video, but me just ranting and yeah, my my opinion and stuff like that. Um, I'm happy to see that we have a timetable for Oya. I'm I'm happy to see that. You know what I'm saying? I really am happy to see that because. You know, August is almost here. Tomorrow is July first, but we don't know when the United States will get it. We, we, I, I think that the international V20 can get ordered in July. I think so. Maybe we we'll just have to wait and see. Um, so, I, 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 I want you guys, I want you guys' honest opinion on this. Are you guys excited about Oreo? Uh, what do you guys think about uh, the V20 getting Oreo in August in North America? What do you guys think about that? Uh, and what do you guys think? Uh, when do you guys think that the United States will get Oreo on the V20? And what USK, what USKA will get the V20 Oreo first? I think Verizon will get it first. I think Verizon will get it first. I just think that because G6 and Verizon got Oreo first. The S7 on Verizon got Oreo first. V30 on Verizon got Oreo first. You guys see where I'm going with this? Verizon is quick with updates like that. They're quick about it when they get pushed out like that. So, the only thing we can do now is just wait and see when we get Oreo on this damn thing. We kind of have a timetable, but I mean, almost two years before we get a major OS. That's no, nah, fuck that. And I do think that uh, the V20 has a small chance of getting an Android P. I really do. Some of you guys might think I'm crazy for saying that, but it, I think it's the small chance that we get P on this phone. Small chance. But it could happen. So, yeah, uh, what do you guys think about the V20 getting the Oreo in August, according to this article, and according to the Canadian K Fighter? Do um, you guys believe that? Do you guys think that we'll get Oreo? In July, do you guys think that we'll get it in August, or do you guys think that we'll get it uh, after August or whatever? So let, let, let me know your um your opinions about this in the comment section of the video. I would appreciate that. And so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It will help me out a lot. Peace, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.